broken hearts. Amen. God blesses those who mourn, for they okay. will be comforted. In Matthew 5, first chapter 5, verse 4. Amen. And so we want, amen, to, amen, uh, give you a few points here. I want you to understand it. And I want to eliminate, amen, some, amen, of these uh, flaws that we have in the church. Amen. Some people really believe, amen, that number one is that God does not expect me to be happy all the time. Understand that God does not expect, this is what God expects, I mean, not what man says, amen. God does not expect me to be happy all the time. Some people think because, amen, you should smile and grin and everything. Somebody say amen up in here. And sometimes people get a misunderstanding of the church because they think because you are in church, you should smile all the time. But sometimes, amen, there's something going on in your life that you can't smile about. So I say amen. amen. And, and God help me in some of these churches, amen, they come in and try to pump and, and pick you up and praise and dance and do these things. Sometimes, amen, uh, sometimes you want to come to church and sit still. Yes. Yes. So I say amen. amen. Just coming to church is you lifting up God. Amen. Just sitting down in a service is your praise to God. Amen. Giving your offering, giving your tithe is your worship. So I say amen. amen. God is looking for people who worship him in spirit and in truth. He talked about it in the church. It don't profit you nothing. Somebody say amen. amen. Some of this morning hooping and hollering, amen, ain't doing you no good. Amen. Some folks are running in the church and going home and dying. Go ahead. Can't walk, can't get up, got ice on the knees. Amen. You know you ain't never ran. You don't run nowhere. You don't even run to the refrigerator. Somebody say amen. amen. But you come to church, you want to run around in circles, amen. It's obvious you're not running all walking anywhere. Look at take a good look at yourself. Somebody say amen. Say amen. 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 The word of God says in Ecclesiastes 1 through 4, the third chapter of Ecclesiastes verses 1 through 4, check these words right here. There is a time for everything in a season for every activity on the heaven. Y'all got that? There's a time and a season for everything. Have you ever told somebody, you ain't got to, this ain't the day now? Now, you, you, you best leave me. Come on now. Amen. You still say you're the Holy Ghost too, right? But there's some days uh, somebody can say that to you get you the wrong day. Do I have any witness in here? And sometimes you do some things that, that you gotta ask God to forgive you. You didn't mean to do it. They taught you at the wrong time. Amen. In the wrong season. Yes. Are y'all feeling me here? Amen. Amen. Normally they step on the tall job. You go, that's all right, that's all right. But to your health. Somebody say amen. amen. Grief, amen, is necessary for you to have good health. Some of you need to cry. Amen. Some of you need to go somewhere and boo-hoo and ask God to forgive you for what you don't know. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. Sometimes you have been nasty and what no need for. You need to go somewhere and ask God to amen. have mercy on you. Right. Some of the stuff you did last night, you need to go somewhere and tell God, Forgive me, because I was acting a pure old Come on, help me, y'all. I was acting a pure old what? Ooh. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, you know what, you know what. Amen. Sometimes, praise God, amen. Sometimes, it is good for you to get it out. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Some of you, praise God, it's not good for you to hold stuff on the inside. Because you know what happened, amen? There's a chemical imbalance that takes place in your brain. Come on, somebody. That will cause you to have depression. 
in moon swing. Somebody say amen. amen. And you need medicine sometimes, friend God, to help you get you back in the right shape. Amen. Somebody give God a head praise. Amen. But if you obey the word of God, you can afford all of that. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The word of God says in Psalm 32 and 3, amen, when I keep man to myself, I feel weak deep inside of me. I mourn all day long. Come on, somebody. How many of those some people have you been in that mode where you try to keep something on the inside and had you jacked up all day long? Now don't look at me. Come on, this is church. Come on, be honest. Amen. Amen. You try to keep it on the inside, and the more you keep it on the inside, I don't know about you, but I get madder and madder the more I keep it in. Somebody say amen. amen. And somebody say, you mean apostle? You get upset? Yeah, when I try to keep it in and be the Mr. Nice Guy, come on, say amen. amen. I'm better off just saying what I got to say. Not, not, not cursing, not acting a fool now. Don't get, don't get it twisted. Amen. It's better to amen going and approach the issue and communicate the problem upon the whole and on the inside. Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Psalm 39 and 2 says, Psalm 39 and 2 says, I was silent and held my peace to no prevail. My distress only grew worse. Sometimes, praise God, we try to hold your peace. It's best to go on the sin. Amen. Somebody say amen. Yeah, amen. If somebody drunk the last of the orange juice, the last of the milk, amen, it's best to go and get that. Who drunk this? <laughs> it's best to go and get it out. Somebody say amen. amen. Don't try to hold everything in. Amen. Talk about praise the Lord. No, go on and get it out. Deal with it. Amen. Somebody say that's very simple, Apostle, but is, is it not the truth? We got four walk around in the same house, mad at each other over some ass. Who left it to the drop of milk or orange juice? Why don't we just drink it all and then leave it in the corner? Anybody want to talk about that right? You need one little corner, one little drop. Amen? And it usually happens when you got a taste for something. Come on, somebody. And they leave a one little drop. Oh, let's move on. All right. How many of y'all say, I feel you, preacher? Don't look at nobody. Look straight up here. Amen. Amen. Now, let's talk about how God bless broken hearts. How does God bless broken hearts? How does God deliver you when your heart is broken? Now, we, we don't dismiss some milk that goes on in the church. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, let's look at how does God actually bless or uh, God deliver or uh, God put your heart back together. Yes. Amen? amen? Number one, God draw us close to himself. What did I say? When your heart is broken, God will draw you close to him. Somebody say amen. amen. God will send you to the right church to hear the right word or let the right person call you at the right time. Somebody give you that hug that you come on somebody. Amen. Somebody will say something or, or shake your hand or give you a hug or give you a word at the right time that will draw you close to God. Somebody say amen. Or Psalm 34 and 18 says, The Lord is close to the broken heart. And he saved those whose spirit have been crushed. Anybody in this house by a show of hands, real quickly, amen. How many had your heart crushed? How many had your spirit, I mean, stepped on with two feet and then it did twist? <laughs> Come on, somebody. You ever stepped on the bug and then twist? Sometimes people will step on your spirit and then boom. Mm. The boss of the devil come to do what? Kill, steal, and destroy. And sometimes, praise God, he walked to and fro, seeing who we made the devour. And the devil don't care who he used to crush your spirit. Amen. Sometimes you can have a good day. Yeah. Am I talking to anybody? Yeah. You can have a good day going, yeah. and lo and behold, here come that phone call. Here comes somebody stop. I just stop by. You know, oh, God. Sometimes, sometimes people make you, don't sometimes people make you pray? Yes. Oh, God. I've been knocking on your door. I know you in there. Amen. <laughs> amen. But sometimes people, amen, uh, God, but sometimes people will crush your spirit. Amen. Amen. They will remove all your joy. 
Back in the day, back when I was in my teens, amen, we'd call it, amen, you blew my high. Amen. Yeah. Don't y'all look at me like that, amen. I wouldn't always say, amen. But I thank God that I have got to say, somebody say, amen. You, some of y'all know how it is when you drive down that road and blue lights come on. Woo. You had a good buzz going on, but all of a sudden, all oh, that gone. No. Somebody say, amen. Now, somebody said, well, you, are you, no, I'm not for more than that. I'm just telling you, amen, there's some things that will crush your spirit. That's right. Amen. Yes. Now, if you don't understand how, uh, when chemicals get you high and you get your spirit crushed, then you, how do you understand when you have a natural high and then somebody crush your spirit? <laughs> it's worse. Somebody say amen. amen. You, you understand the chemical, but when you ain't got nothing in nobody, somebody say amen. You have Amen. 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 <laughs> Hebrews 13 and 5 says, This is God speaking again to, to the man of God. I will never leave you, and I will never abandon you. Give God a hand, pray for that word. You all right there and down, 13 and 5. This is God, I will never leave you, and I will never abandon you. How many had that ride and die friend leave you and abandon you? Amen. Huh? They snitch. Come on now. Amen. They told on you. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. They left you alone. Amen. Didn't show up. Won't answer a, a page, a message. They won't answer nothing. The phone, home phone, cell phone, your friend phone. Somebody say amen. amen. You called everybody. Have you seen so and so? I don't know what it is. Amen. Some folk will leave you when you need them the most. Amen. Amen. But God said, I'll never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. And that's how God mends your broken heart. It's God said, I will always be there. Amen. Amen. Let's move on. Amen. Now, number two, God agrees with us. What's number two? God agrees. This is how God mends a broken heart. God, as we said earlier, what that song says, right in the Right in the and the Shadrach, Meshach was in the middle of the burning fire, and God was where? Amen. Amen. Daniel in the lion then, what was God? God will be right there with you, going through whatever you're going through. Somebody give God a hand, please. That. That's how He makes your broken heart talk. He will be right there with you. Somebody say Amen. amen. The Word of God says in Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah 53 and 3 says, Jesus was a man of sorrows, acquainted with bitter grief. He knew suffering firsthand. The Lord Jesus Christ, that's why we serve Him and love Him. That's why we praise Him. That's why we demand our bodies, our hands. That's why we do. That's why we give Him the praise and honor. Because see, when you understand and know that right in the middle of what I'm going through, He knows what I'm going through. somebody, son, and how many of you told somebody, you don't know what I'm going through, man? Amen. Huh? Amen. How, how many of you get, have gotten on your nerve when somebody came to you and said, I know what you're going through, baby. You go like, no, you don't. Amen. You don't. You know you don't. You know, you, 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 you. Oh, when did you go through that? Yeah. Now, I haven't been through it, but you know, I'm, I, sometimes you want to tell them to do what? Hush. Some of y'all going, yeah, you right. Preach on. Amen. See, I'm a real preacher, right? I'm not trying to be all up here. And I'm not trying to breathe out, you know, lose my breath. Well, because really what they do, they lose their breath, right? And they're not breathing properly. They're about to die. They're about to kill them for themselves. Come on, say amen. Amen. Uh, come on, now, that ain't anointing. That's, come on now. I'm not trying to knock nobody, but hey, that's the style somebody who picked up and trying to copy. But it's not anointing. That's you trying to breathe. You talking too fast. Let me get off people because they won't they don't want to. They'll be calling me after a while. Amen. Jesus was a man of sorrow, the cranium of bitter grief. He knew suffering firsthand. 
Mother, you sister, you tell me about that, that prison ministry, amen. Remember I said to you, amen, you can't play a player. 